I don't know Where why he was spinning there. Go, and they're looking for buccaneer style family dining at a reasonable price. Look at that statue of over there. Tiny Laf Tiny Lafitte. Who is a Preda Este? Pardon me. Yes. Yes. Oh, snotty. What kind of a pirate are you? A pirate? Moi? Heaven forbid, old bean. I'm just <laughs> a humble tourist. Old bean? Heaven forbid, old bean? No, I'm the new bean. You're the old bean. Get it? Do it. Do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Is that a fruit flavored drink over at Planet Three Wood? No, it's a dangerous voodoo talisman of inexplicably soul crunching power. Its pieces are supposed to be somewhere on Jambalaya Island. Ooh, a scavenger hunt. How thrilling. Maybe I can help. What do the pieces look like? Your face. No, I was kidding. <laughs> it's time for show and tell chat. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, eh? I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Hmm. Hmm. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. A bronze pirate hat? Oh, that's interesting. Why? Take a good look at this statue, boyo. Boyo? That sounds like my, my dad and his family, the Irish. Uh, boyo! Hey, Mike, get over here, boyo! Do you really think the bronze hat I'm looking for could have come from this statue? Well, that'd be my guess. Well, it is missing. It is missing the top. So, as that, it's kind of obvious. One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Hmm. What the nope, fuck are you doing, boy? Get your ass over here. All right. We'll see. Da, 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 da. Well, I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's a great ensemble. Isn't it, though? My wife picked it out for me. <laughs> it looks like a produce cart exploded on your arms. <laughs> yeah, produce cart exploded on your arms. Oh, that's great. That's great. Hmm. You're pretty brave for a tourist. Most tourists would steer clear of pirate-infested islands. Normally, you'd be right. In the past, I've avoided islands like Jambalaya because of their pirate problems. But my tour guide assured me that Jambalaya has been scrubbed clean of its more undesirable pirate elements, if you catch my drift. Scrub clean. Scrub. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm admiring Scrubbed. the craftsmanship of this statue Scrubbed of clean. Jambalaya's most famous pirate, Tiny Lafitte. Tiny Lafitte, what made him so famous? What made Tiny so famous? He was the friendly pirate of Jambalaya Island. He robbed from the bad and gave to the nice. And he always said, A please Robin and Hood. thank you. Twice. He's the perfect symbol of the new, non-threatening Jambalaya Island. Just, you know, on the Wii Wii variety, eh? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> was there really a Tiny Lafitte, or was he dreamed up by someone's marketing department? Oh, he's real, all right. I hear his son lives across the bay or nothing at all. Not a not a nothing at all. I get it. A nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> what happened to the top of the statue? He does like a nothing at all. A bad haircut. <laughs> I'm not sure. Rumor has it that some vandalist pirates from nothing at all stole the statue's hat, but I don't believe it. They do a pretty good job of keeping those types off of Jambalaya. I'd rather not talk about Tiny right now. Fine. Can't take your eyes off the statue, can you? Nope. It's absolutely enthralling. Enthralling? Wow. Okay, you. I'll leave you. I'll leave you in the statue alone. I'd yeah, rather but, not talk I'll about. Oh, you have your right privacy. Now. Fine. It's enthralling, chat. Sorry to bother you. No Sorry to bother you, little bean. Oh, bean. I got you, old bean. You freak. Oh, we've we been there. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. We haven't been to the microguy. We went to this, the one of the Star Buccaneers. Come on in and enjoy some handcrafted homebrewed grog. He was queerer than a three dollar bill, Missy. <laughs> oh, there's Cara getting a drink on. You know she'd find a watering hole in this, this new island. Look at her! 
That girl is just sloppy drunk. Carla, where? What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Baby gay man. Ooh, yeah, I got you. <laughs> got that centric thing down the the way. Hey, hey. Well, Missy, I hope he's I hope he's kind of loaded. You know, don't you have to be rich to be eccentric? Otherwise, you just straight. Yeah. Drink. <laughs> It looks like you're trying to drink yourself into oblivion on crappy microgrog. Hey, that's a great idea. Thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> Thanks for the su suggestion. <laughs> Other boy acting is so good. <laughs> the su suggestion. <laughs> Why are you getting drunk? I'm drunk to forget. Forget what? I forget. Are you trying to forget, forget. Monkey Island? <laughs> that's it. I'm drinking to forget all the time I spent stranded on Monkey Island. Thanks for reminding me. Now I have to start drinking all again. over again. Sorry. Reminding me! Drinking isn't the answer, Carla. That depends on the question, doesn't it? How do you like this place? It's horrible. The grog is shrieker than my pinky finger. They won't let me get into any short fights, and all the chips have got its cheese on them. Well, if this place is so awful, why don't you leave? <laughs> Two reasons. One, <laughs> this is the only place a pirate can find a drink on this godforsaken, family-friendly heckhole of an island. And <laughs> B, I think someone has stolen my legs. <laughs> Why? Because I can't feel them anymore. Damn, Chad, she's drunken so much she can't feel her legs. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna need some. Uh... <laughs> wow, she's gonna have a massive hangover in the morning. You want to help me find the pieces of the ultimate insult? I'll tell you what, by glush, brush guy. Be good. I'll stay here and keep my eye out for any pieces of the ultimate in Schultz that come by. In Schultz. Okay. Um. All right then. Barkeep. Margrog. You abysmal master. Master. <laughs> Holy shirt, lady. Watch your forking language. <laughs> oh. I'll let you get back to your. Uh... Surely. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. This bar counter is incredibly clean and unsticky. It's too clean. Hi. Howdy. What can I do? Donde está la biblioteca? The library that is down the street, across uh, behind the fountain, and around and around the corner. And it wasn't due to due to boo. It wasn't to do with booty toes. So, how's business? It's great. This is the only place in the entire Tri Island area yeah, that people can come and get gourmet, freshly distilled grog. People come from all over to sample our 65 different variations of grog and grog byproducts. These include Snoot Groggy Grog, Green Grog, Dangerous Dark, Siren's Urine, named for its color, not contents, and of course, our award-winning Stale Ale. Every grog we have Back is distilled mouth. lovingly and individually by members of the Micro Grogger family. What about just plain old-fashioned grog grog? What are you, some kind of unsophisticated <laughs> hick? I'm a, uh, apparently I'm an unsophisticated hick. <laughs> you know, fun fact about Deadpool though, Deadpool's like saying, um, you know, he doesn't. His favorite food is actually tacos. His actual favorite food in tacos, but in the comics, let's see. Uh, Hmm. So, what is that thing over there with a saddle on it? That, my friend, is the menacing mechanical manatee. What the heck is the manatee? Oh. 
Mechanical manatee. What the heck is a manatee? The manatee is a marine mammal that grazes on seagrass and other plant life in shallow waters. They are typically nine to ten feet long and weigh about a thousand pounds. Ah, that doesn't time. sound menacing at all. Sounds more like a swimming cow. Oh? <laughs> Will you try to snatch the grass out of a manatee's mouth and see how menacing it gets? What is this mechanical manatee here for? Well, mostly for entertainment. Oh, it's like a mechanic. It's a replacement for a mechanical We're currently boom. giving away a Planet Three Foot coupon for a complimentary monkey mug meal to anybody who could ride the manatee at the highest setting. But also before that, season one, episode two, community Troy and Abed did the Spanish rap starting with that. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. Hmm. Take a crack at writing that man. Right, the man. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Okay, I'm going to start at the bedwetter setting, which shouldn't <laughs> be any trouble for a stout young guy like you. Bedwetter. Ready? I'm writing the manatee chat. Ready. But doing it. Whoa. 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 Hold on. Oh, really? I fell off. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I fell off on the bed when they said, come on now, come on, Fleetwood. Come on, guys. On your little thing. <laughs> so cute, though. <laughs> yeah, I yeet. Indeed, just those guy yeet it. Give me a second, let me calibrate myself. There we go. <laughs> I've seen drunk old ladies who were able to hold on tighter than that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Bad weather. Oh, rude. Hey. Get some grub in your kids. Or is that? You said no. You said you got a quick break. I just noticed all the Christmas lights. <laughs> What the heck? My head <laughs> starting to go all Emily Rose and all that exorcist. Tell me more about this timeshare deal. It'd be my pleasure, my pantaloon friend. You have to be touched in the head not to take advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunity. As a bonus, just for a chat for a chaka. I'll give you a my good for a free I love the chaka. at Planet Threepwood. Limit one per customer while supplies last. Void where prohibited by law and in the state of Wyoming. <laughs> Give me the pitch. Smart decision, my friend. You'll thank me after you've heard about yes. this exciting opportunity. Stay with me. The full pitch takes just under three hours. Be, be prepared to be stunned three hours. by what I have to tell you. What's the best investment for your hard-earned cash? The stock market? No, too volatile. Duck food futures. No, <laughs> ducks have short lifespans. Porcelain figurines. <laughs> uh oh, oops. He doesn't Congrats. like porcelain. What the? Two words. Time. Share. That's right. Real estate. Let me show you how a small investment today can compound into an incredible fortune in just a few short generations. You have a 57 minutes later. Okay, we're doing it again. So, who's excited and ready to invest, huh? Uh, gosh, that sounds interesting, but I need to check with my wife first. You bet. Gotta check with the missus. Wouldn't want to wind up in the old doghouse. <laughs> right. I mean, where would the piranha poodles sleep? Right. Three well, hours for what it takes. <laughs> Have this coupon for a free monkey mug at Planet Threepwood from your old friend, Stan. 
Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> yeah. I'll just be in seconds it's like you can't afford to wait too long. This deal will last. You got that's a that's just like oh you're just getting started. You know, ten seconds. Just getting an engine, just revving the engine. You know. <laughs> gotta you know, gotta go once you get the engine like, you know, you gotta go a couple times to get the engine full throttle, then you go. And then you know <laughs> I don't even know why. Okay, I need to stop thinking about that. Alright. Um Yeah, the planet sleep was too fun. Got a joke to yourself. No, hey, T, do A. Hey, if it works, it works. No shame in the game. Okay, we're gonna reload that. I don't think we need to. Oh, we're supposed to drink. Oh. Okay, yeah, okay. We got to drink it. If we don't drink it, this is a self pitch. Woohoo! Talk about dry <laughs> openers. I feel like I just drank an entire coffee plantation. Don't you know? <laughs> oh man, he is high on that caffeine. Hey, look at that. Tomorrow will be 30 days without Dr. Pepper, without soda, without sugar. Whew, it's been a long 30 days. All right. <laughs> Just woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Tell me more about this timeshare deal. It'd be my pleasure, my pantaloon friend. You have to be touched in the head not to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. As a bonus, just for listening to my pitch, I'll give you, Thank a, you Missy. for a free monkey mug at Planet Threepwood. Limit one per customer while supplies last. Void where prohibited by law and in the state of Wyoming. I'm trying to debate after the day tomorrow after 30 days tomorrow. It's up tomorrow. I wonder if I should go get one. Just one. Give me a little give me a little bottle. But then I think if I do that, then I'll just want more. <laughs> Oy. Give me the pitch. Smart decision, my friend. I so, You'll thank me after you've heard about I'm this so exciting craving opportunity. One. Stay with me. The full pitch takes just under three hours. Eep. Be prepared to be stunned by what I have to tell you. What's the best investment for your hard-earned cash? The stock market? No, too volatile. Food futures. No. Ducks have short lifespans. Porcelain figurines. <laughs> uh oh. Oops. Too uh, fragile. I, what the? Two words. Oh, uh, guy brush. Sure. It's, it's right. anti porcelain Rails. nature. Let me show you how a small investment today can compound into an incredible fortune in just a few short generations. But it's mainly the caffeine missing. After this, I'm, 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 you know, I'm gonna go back to eating so, it. Who's but excited and ready to invest? Huh? Uh, I'm just gosh, cutting back on it. But like caffeine, that's the main first. thing. I was trying You're to. Gotta check with the missus. I was Wouldn't drinking way too much caffeine. Doghouse. <laughs> right. I mean, I have trouble sleeping. Sleep. Right. Well, you know, thanks just for listening. Kind of my body Cut down. This coupon for a free monkey mug at Planet Threepwood from your old friend Stan. Okay, we got that. Get the coupon, but we need to find a we need to find something that'll give me 